Greetings once again, friends. I'm Pastor D.L. Richardson of the First Baptist Church Main Street in the city of North Little Rock, Arkansas. And I want to thank you for joining me for Wednesday in the Word. I am excited and delighted to have this privilege and this opportunity to be able to come and share with you today. I believe that God has a powerful word that's going to help you to be able to navigate through this week. So go with me to James chapter 1 and verses 2 and 3. James shares with the saints at Jerusalem concerning some difficult times that they were having and he gives them a word of empowerment and encouragement to be able to help them to be able to make it through those tough times. And I want to share that word with you today. James says to them, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. In the midst of this prolonged pandemic, I know that you've been experiencing some hard times and you've had to make a whole lot of adjustments in your life, but I want to talk to you about the adjustment that you may need to make in your faith in God in case your faith in Him is a little shaky right now. Hebrews 11 and 1 gives us a definition of what faith is. The Apostle Paul says that faith, and many believe that he's the writer, and that's why I said the Apostle Paul, he says faith is the substance of things hoped for, and it's the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance. Do you not know that God has encouraged and he has demanded that we as his people and his children would be children of faith? 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, he says that, listen, we walk by faith and not by sight. In Romans 1 and 17, the just, the born again, the followers of Christ shall live by faith. Even in Hebrews chapter 11, he continues to talk about faith around verse number three, and he even lets us know that it's impossible to please him without faith. So when it comes to your faith in God, when your back is up against a wall, when you find yourself dealing with tough times, if God would give you the faith test, would your faith in him would the results be positive or would the results be negative? I'm happy to report that I just tested positive for having faith in my almighty God. And hopefully your results will be positive too. Because if you're going to be able to be successful and to make it through this prolonged pandemic and experience the love and the joy, and the peace that God wants you to experience, then you have to have a positive faith in him. And Jane gives us the faith test. And if you're going to test positive of having faith in God, then the first thing I want to suggest to you is that you rejoice in God during tough times. When you find yourself having tough times, it's not a time for you to complain. It's not a time for you to cry. It's not a time for you to criticize. But believe it or not, it's a time for you to celebrate. That's right. It's a time for you to celebrate because Nehemiah 8 and 10 declares that the joy of the Lord is our strength. If you want to have the power to be able to handle the pain, if you want to have the strength to be able to deal with the suffering, if you want to have the toughness to be able to deal with your troublesome times, then you're going to have to learn how to praise God in the midst of the pain. I believe that I'm sharing with some of you who have already made up in your mind that comes from what may from day to day that you are going to praise your way through because you have believed that God has something waiting for you, something very special if you can just praise your way through. So rejoice during these tough times. Whatever you lose, don't lose your joy. Continue to lift up holy hands and give God the glory. Continue to wake up every morning, even when that morning seems to be a night in your life. Wake up and declare by faith that the devil is a lie. 
And this is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. If you're going to have a positive faith, you have to rejoice in God during the tough times. But also, you have to rely on God during tough times. Who are you leaning on when your back is against the wall? Are you leaning on your friends? You do know that friends will walk out. Are you leaning on your finances? You do know that your finances, your money, will run out. Are you leaning on your figure? I mean, you may used to have it together. You may still have it together. But guess what? Father Times is going to catch up with you. And that figure one day is going to fade out. Maybe you're leaning on your fashions. And although you can't make it to the mall, you got some things in the closet that you feel that you can put on. And if you can put on those fashions, it'll make you feel better and help you to be able to make it through your bitterness, but can I tell you that your fashions will also wear out. If you're looking for somebody to lean on, I want to recommend Jesus Christ. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Learn how to lean on Jesus Christ. He's a mighty good leaning post. And leaning on him means that you are trusting in God to carry you through whatever he brings you to. And you have to believe that God is God enough to handle whatever he allows to come your way. So you have to have a positive faith in him and you have to continue to lean on him. I don't know what you have learned from life. But I can testify and witness, as the hymnologist said, that I've learned through my ups and through my downs, through my hard times, through my heartbreaks, I've learned how to lean and depend on Jesus. And I've found out that if you trust him, if you put all of your hope, you put all of your confidence in him, then he will provide. So if you're going to have that positive faith, and if you're going to test positive and your results are going to come back, as positive results, you have to rejoice in God and you have to rely on God. But then lastly, I want to suggest that you release it to God during your tough times. He says, count it all joy when you fall into these various trials and hard times and difficulties in life. Knowing this, that the trying the testing, that God is up to something, that the testing of your faith produces patience, that you're going to release it into God's hands by waiting on him. God wants you to remain in the waiting room if you're going to be able to pass the test because there's a blessing in waiting on him. Isaiah 40 and 31 says, But they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You have to learn how to wait on God in the midst of your tough times. Don't get in a hurry. Don't try to figure things out. Trust in God. Trust him to be able to work things out. Wait on him because he's a God that you can't hurry, but you already know that he'll be there. Dottie said he's an on-time God. Yes, he is. He is. He'll be there, don't you worry. He may not come when you want him, but he's always right on time. So don't try to hurry him. Just wait on God to turn that situation around. And somehow and some way, God will work it out. Hopefully you can say that you tested positive when it came to having faith in God. I want to invite you to continue to join us by way of Facebook Live as well as YouTube Live. And uh, those of you who desire to come to the sanctuary, we have put some precautionary measures in place to ensure your safety as we work with our state and local uh, government offices and making sure that we can have a safe environment 
as we come together. Listen, thank you once again for uniting with me, and I pray that God will continue to bless you as you stay home and as you stay healthy and as you stay holy. And until next week, may God bless you and God keep you. And on next week, I look forward to seeing you again, and let's do it. Amen.